Today on the bench we have a Pierce Simpson Tiger 40. Radio is in really nice condition. Uh, I guess the model number kind of gives it away. 40. It is a 40 channel radio. Now it has an old uh, analog style dial, so it does not have the uh, you know LED display. Um, and it's a kind of an early 40 channel radio. This one came out in uh, probably late 77. So you know this is going to be one of your first. Um, or one of the real early 40 channel radios, uh, PLL synthesized, um, and it has a, a Cybernet circuit board in it. Really nice radio, uh, receives really good, transmits just as as well. Um, I really like Cybernets, and this one's no exception. Now, I'm a you know, sideband person, but for an AM radio, this is a really nice radio. So, uh, yeah, for starters, it is an AM-only radio. So, you know, volume squelch, it has a tone control, uh, RF gain, Recevo slide, which is basically just your delta tune. Now this one is not a, a what do you want to say, a potentiometer. It's a three position switch. <laughs> so yeah, which if you were doing modifications, there's a perfect switch to use because honestly, it's an AM radio. It's PLL synthesized. You really don't need that. <laughs> synthesized, you know, PLL synthesized radios are fairly stable on frequency. So you really don't need a delta tune, and there's a three-position switch, and it has a PLL-02A that does a boatload of channels if you were so inclined. Um, now this one is 100% stock other than a cap job has been done to it. Um, so modulation limiter, of course, is intact. It has no channel modifications, no nothing's been done to it. But uh, other than that, you know, CBPA switch, ANL, noise blanker. Um, customer sent this in. Actually, it was... Uh, reach over here and grab it. It even came in the box. So, with the uh, original microphone, original power cord. Um, so, nice radio. If we take a look on the inside really quick, like I say, it's a Cybernet. Um, one of the big giveaways that it's a Cybernet and not a Uniden. Um, PLL 02A for starters. Uh, Uniden really liked the UPD 858. Cybernet used a lot of PLL 02As. Um, another thing is the green uh, silk screening on the board. That was another thing Cybernet was known for doing. So if you, you know, pop the cover off a radio, you see it's got a brown circuit board with silk green silk screening on it. Another good chance it's a Cybernet board. Um, and of course, this is a. It's going to have the the board part number on it, which this is uh, what is this? A PTBM O. Uh, I have to flip it over. Either a 48 or 49 AOX. Uh, what is that? 49 AOX. It's right there. Yeah, so PTBM 049 AOX. But, uh, so just a basic AM radio. Like I say, really nice. Um, works well. And, you know, you can't ask for much better. They were you know, built really good. Good quality. Good quality components. Um, not like your modern day radios. <laughs> so... Uh, and it receives really well. So, you know, I've got it hooked up to the communications test set over here. As you can see, I've got it on 27.185, so you know, channel 19. Um, just do a really quick Synad measurement on it. So I already have the communications test set hooked up here. The speaker is run into the input, so we'll take a quick Synad measurement. And you can see I have the output set to 0 0.09 microvolts. And it's bouncing right around there at 12 dB Synad at 0 .09 microvolts, which is minus 127.9 dBm. So, really good receiving radio. Um, there's actually some skip coming in today. It's one of those that comes and goes, but yeah, the skip cycle seems to be really starting to pick back up again. So, oh, let's see.
So yeah, it's just starting to come in on the popular channels, 6, 11, 28's been really busy here late, so yeah, probably another half, about another half hour, all 40 channels will probably be overloaded with traffic, because that's how it seems to come when channel 6, 11, and 28 start to come in, usually within about 15 minutes to a half hour, uh, the rest... You know the skip start, start the skip gods are starting to open up up above, and it starts to drop in on my head. But uh, so you get everything disconnected here. Uh, now there is actually a, I did I did lie. There's one modification I did to this, the microphone jack. It's been rewired for uh, Cobra four pin. Now of course you can just look at the microphone. Man, that really looks like a Cobra microphone, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. But it's, it is the factory correct Pierce Simpson microphone. But uh, this one could be rewired um, because it uses solid state receive transmit switching. So it could easily be rewired. So it was just a matter of switching uh, pins 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Um, audio and shield are reversed and receive and transmit switching are reversed between a Cobra wiring pattern and this radio. So they were switched. So now the owner can use... A Cobra wired microphone with this radio or use this microphone on a Cobra radio um, but you know there you can see the inside like I say really nice and clean the only thing I have to do um, to this now is uh, clean the circuit board because you can see it has that thick solder flux man it's just oh it's <laughs> it's caked on there <laughs> this is one of those ones I wish uh I wish flux was worth something, because, man, I'd be a millionaire by, by now all the flux I clean off of these circuit boards. But, uh, so, there you go. Like I say, just a really quick review. Don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Just thought I'd show one, in case you've never seen one. Um, and if you, you know, you ever see one of these for sale in really nice, nice condition, don't be afraid to pick it up. Like I say, really nice AM radios. Um, really good receive. They have a good noise blanker and ANL circuits in them. So, you know, and there, there are no slouch on transmit, so... But there you go, the Pierce Simpson Tiger 40.